vitamin B12 was really discovered uh, by accident, similar to other really great medicines like Viagra. I mean, who doesn't love Viagra, right? <clears throat> Anyways, there, there's a disease called uh, pernicious anemia, if I pronounce that right, which was totally incurable until 1926. The disease itself has to do with a person not having enough red blood cells, which are very important because they carry oxygen. They're like, they're like worker bees. Without them, someone can feel tired at all times. They can damage the heart, brain, nerves, weaken bones, promote, promote cancer, do all that bad stuff. Then two U.S. physicians named Murphy and Minnett gave their patients a diet of raw livers as an experiment. And amazingly, it cured every one of them. Then a few, a few years later, a couple other experts isolated the nutrient that was doing all the awesome stuff, and they named it vitamin B12. Now, one of its major uses and benefits has to do with converting carbohydrates into energy. This is really insanely useful. Just think about obesity, diabetes, energy levels, very helpful. It also protects the nervous system. Let's just put it this way. Without vitamin B12, someone is more likely to get dementia, depression, all time of attention disorder, numbness and weakness in hands, legs. You get the picture. Also, it helps uh, skin scales renew themselves, like hair, nails, uh, reduces bad cholesterol, uh, reduces high blood pressure, and uh, can even make someone turn invisible if taken in high doses. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that part's not true, but uh, it can do a lot of great things. Now, to get this stuff, it's usually found in a lot of meat products. For example, like uh, crab, oysters, sardines, uh, beef, liver, lamb, cheese. Now, of course, if you're like a vegetarian or something, uh, another great idea would be to take a supplement, which are, can be very, very useful. Now, the truth is, supplements can say whatever they want, and government agencies like the FDA in the United States are not going to ensure that the product is safe simply because they don't have the resources and time to check every single supplement out there. That's kind of like, they basically say it's up to companies to police themselves, which is ridiculous, and it's up to consumers to protect themselves too. Now to do this, I highly and strongly recommend becoming aware of what to look for when shopping for a supplement. By viewing a, a free guide that um, I actually created, it's, it's a video newsletter as well, about the subject on supplements. So the next step for you to do is to click on the link directly below this video and view that free report. It's very important. Click on that link. Well, uh, thanks a lot for viewing uh, this video. Have an awesome, great rest of your day. Take care, and uh, take care.